How long has it been since I played the game? Jesus Christ. Well, hi everyone, and I know you've been waiting, or not, to see me play Slime 3 again. But here we are at the fifth chapter of this game, Dead Men Tell No Tales. So here we go. This is actually my second favorite of all the chapters. Here we go. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. I'm excited for this one. This is a Power Fiend episode, and you know how much I like Power Fiend episodes, or games, or maybe episodes, whatever. But yeah, this is the Bloodbath Bay, where every pirate just join in and just say, Are you ready for more puns? But here we are. Let's go right away. Now I'm gonna, I mean, why did I say that? Black Spot Pete has retired and is living here in town. I'll mark his place with a waypoint. Yes, the talk of pirates, which is easily the best mission, and you'll see why. But, you know, Murray had the weirdest disguise, he looks like a punk. And everyone else. I mean, Penelope has some cool disguise, but the others, I don't really know. I mean, Bendis looks straight out someone from uh, Texas, but yeah. Let's do this. There he is, Black Spot Pete! I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get him or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that, and they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Oh yeah? I'm a thief, so I can definitely get some trust. You see, I'll prove you wrong. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I... But I will chatter with the likes of you, so blessed a subject. Get out of me sight, landlubber! All my years I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me partner. Can't tank on a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover, and cork it with me cutlass. Hard on my tonsils, I assure you. Well, that didn't work well. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder. Including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. 
can't, can't we just take care of this guy and then we get the eye patch? I think that'll just be much more easy hassle than the other one. But yeah, you just have to whack the palm tree. And then he coming towards you. You just have to lead him to... Okay, this is what I don't like. He's just going the other way around. And that is something I don't want. But I think that's fine enough, because then we can lure him right here. Just continue to lure him and lure him. Slam the donkey. And then over here. Yes, okay. He's coming, he's coming. Now. Yes, that worked. I mean, the first few times I actually tried to get him here, I'm actually getting blasted by his cannon. When I was a kid, I didn't even really know how I can actually lure him. So all I did was just let him see me with his spotlight, and then he keeps firing me with those very overpowered cannons. Like, they only take two his exit kills like Cooper. So you better be careful about that one. <laughs> and don't do the same mistake I made as a kid. But, do you, but did pirates actually exist? Because... I don't think I've actually read any stories about them, or maybe they even exist. I thought it was just some funny things to just talk about this uh, when you're just... Let me see, a kinder. But, yeah. Do you think your powers actually exist at, at the time? Because they most certainly don't right now. The only thing we have is piracy. And that sucks. How do I get up there? Oh, there. Yes. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for this guy. He only has one leg. But, you know, we did kill some Mafia, so this should be a problem against pirates. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, darn it, I don't have that, that special move. You know, you have to press triangle and then square to actually make this a very silent attack, but I don't have that upgrade yet. So, this is the only thing I can do. Yes, they didn't notice me. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, I wish I could just lure them here. Whoa! Whoa, okay, that was close. Okay, it just keeps going. <laughs> He's just going the other way. What? Okay, didn't I? W I didn't expect that one at all. I mean, how did they? I mean, he's just actually turning around. He might be the smartest guard I've ever met. But not anymore. I will. Get that leg. Give me those damn legs. I need them. To do cosplay. Oh yeah, I got it. Excellent work. You've just got one lieutenant left. Twitchy Ned. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenant. And he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Yes, okay. It's right over there. So yeah, we have to steal the hat, but this time it's not going to be as easy as the others. Okay, let's go up. Not anywhere. The bogs are closing in. Stay awake. Keep your wits about you, Ned. Stay sharp. <laughs> sharp as an axe. Sharp as a pin. Sharp as a tack. Sharp as a... Uh, I don't know. Gotta keep alert. Alert. Ah! Oh, I know it! Tis true! An agent of Thames come for revenge! No, I just want that hat for my cosplay. My third cosplay. I mean, this is actually the third and final uh, outfit you could get as Sly Cooper in this game. And I think, and I said before, okay, uh, the second one was my most favorite, but the second favorite is definitely the one with the pirate uh, outfit. Because it just looks very cool. And the, and the Venice outfits, I just to say it's furred. It's not very bad, it just doesn't look as... It just doesn't look very stainty. It doesn't really stand out, that's what I want to say. 
And I have some guards tailing me. Great. I have to get out here alive. And be careful with all these boats and, and hangers. You don't want them falling on top of your head. And I love how this guard is actually supposed to hold a sword, but then he doesn't. And then he's still uh, rising up his hand for some reason. Actually, his arm. So that's why it just looks so weird, or maybe very funny that he's just holding his arms like that. You programmed to have a sword. Why? How come you don't have a sword, dude? What's your Skylark to do, you pops? And I swear, without the subtitles, I wouldn't even hear what that, uh, what Black Pete said. Or maybe Jet the Hawk. Yeah, that's definitely Jet the Hawk. He's a pirate. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. Oh yeah, time for some cosplay. Well, that was it. Now it's time to go and convince him to give me a map. At least, I hope he has one. Yes, there it is. The pirate disguise. So yeah, that's me. I know, I look very handsome. It's very good. I mean, it actually looks very good on Sly. But yeah, let's go. We just have to sneak right back there. Sometimes it's hard to me to find out how I can even get up there, but uh, yeah, this way. So let's go to Pete or uh, Jet because he's definitely a pirate, and give us the map to the treasure. What? Contentious steam! You're back, you two-faced Calloway. Aye, matey. And, not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon-faced toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. <laughs> You're a donkey-eared, knuckle-dragon, wake-stuff skin. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a marooned, clam-tongued cow pie. You are a parrot-loving, twisted bag of vomit. That be true enough, but you're... Bleeding, cross-eyed, cabin boy! You're a brainless, yellow-bellied piece of filth! Ha! You swear like a child! You're a blathering, barnacle-backed sack of maggots! You're a pin-headed, toothless anger head. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a cricket-sized, scurvy-ridden whale fart. Oh really? You're a mumbling, grog-abusing, Slobber! Ha ha! Cantankerous Tim, it must be you! Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remé Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul. I speak of it while drunk often. 
You and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lore. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man on the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map, and your death as well. If you go for the treasure ship, mate, you go alone. Missy Ferrant is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Dude, the contest is over. Stop giving me some insults. Thanks to Black Spot Pete, we've got a lead on Ruddy Lou Stowe's treasure. It's very Somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of the cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders on many ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one can stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafui's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. Yes, had to be quiet there because of that uh, insult contest. That's, that's the, kind of the reason I said this mission is so good. Just because of that. But what's the first mission to do? I think I'll do this one because you actually return to the safe house right after that, so... Right attack this one first. Also because this one is kind of painful to do, so I just want the pain to disappear as quickly as possible. What's it called? Dynam Dynamic Duo. Good name. Okay, Penelope, I'm in a position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device, and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest. Anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, but leave. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't reach you. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it! The data's coming in. It's caching the spectrometer's matrix. What matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and uh, ponder later. No! We haven't downloaded yet! Ah, the pieces are still intact! The disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken, and I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. The disk will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we can read the disk's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC card and go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as the disk and should be able to download its content. That's it. Use the card yeah, that's the one I'm the least data. excited for because I have to collect all the data that's been uh, spread around. At least this... So this level is actually specifically made for this mission. I believe so because there's so many... There's just so many trees around here. Or what? what's it called again? Well, whatever, there's so many ramps around here, and then it becomes much easier to grab them. Well, I guess I have to go right over here. 
I mean, they wouldn't even made this one without uh, if it weren't for this mission. Okay, it's spread everywhere. I can see. Come on, yeah. And there's number fourth. Come on, RG Kari, I know you can do it. Okay. Now I have to go right over there to to the safe house. Because then it gets much easier to just look around. Hey, don't destroy this car. It's a very, very expensive model. I said don't. Huh. And I see that piece right over there. How did I overlook that one? Oh, come on! Okay, yeah. I got it. No, no, no! Yes, yeah, so another reason I'm I'm not really into this mission is just because you can easily fall off these roofs. I'm just gonna go right over there. Yes, take that, boss. Uh, screw you. And hope for the best that I don't fall again. How do I get over there again? I don't actually know. Okay, this is probably the best way. Oh, okay, it's actually not that hard. It was really hard for me uh, for the first time. We should have all of the spectrometer data. Hold on, hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. Just after that, we just have to go over there and hope that nothing, uh, that no other mediocre gameplay is coming again. Actually, there are. But it'll be over soon. Oh, maybe I can just steal something from him. Come on, baby. I want that treasure. <gasps> no way! <laughs> okay, that is definitely not good. Well, I'm alive. This Lafui guy is really on it. He must have seen the desk and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just the field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flagpoles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. This is a pretty nice uh, cutscene moment for both Bentley and Penelope. And that makes me so much more frustrated for what they've done to her in Slide 4. If you haven't seen the story yet, then... Um, sorry for spoiling you. But really, I think Slide 4 kind of destroyed her character, uh, her character a little. Just because... I don't like how they just made her into a bad guy. And that's just not a good idea, because this life free, she's like she seems to be the character that won't uh, that will actually protect her friends or maybe just doesn't want to double step Bentley's heart. But she did. Huh, I could actually have bumped her. But after this scene, I've actually tried to search for the ASCII code. And I still don't really have an idea what it means, but it's something about codings for nerds. So try and search that out. Shh! That must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agreed. Ah, 
I'll tell you something by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But, sir, tis gone. Them bridges is up and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sure. Every man's entitled to their opinion. The opinion sucks. But I don't want to hear no more of them. If I can make Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guards. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. Okay, that was weird. They just sort of stand there for five seconds. But anyway, let's bomb him. Yeah. Chain reaction. Alright. All I have to do is just bomb a lot of these people and then I'm set to go. Yes! What? He's still alive. I'm impressed. Come on, you can do it! Ouch. And now, off you go. Not too shabby, Bentley. Not bad at all. Yeah, well, I'm a guy with a chair. Looks you can't like beat me. Standard double button latch system. On three in pirate. One, two, three. Arr! One, two, three. Oh, come on. Oh, we did it. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. Ah! My eyes! Oh, I can't see some kind of blinding dust. Just take off your glasses, then you can see. No problem. if I take the turret off her car. Hurry, Bentley. I'm getting kind of scared here. Hang tight. I've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way. This dust is really nasty. I can't So miss. this is the thing we have to do. This is the last thing we have to do, and then we beat the mission. You have to use this... Okay, what's it called? Uh, called again, um... This double grapple bomb. Yeah. Yeah, that's the gra uh, the gravel bomb. I think that's the name. So, what you have to do is use the distract button, and then you can lure her into this bombing thing. Alright, we just have to destroy oh, that. Sorry, the police holding up the bridges were too tough to take yes. Out so we just have to destroy it. And we did it. And now we have to take her safely to the safeguard. Uh, safe card, I mean safe house. I'm in motion. Yes, like that. Nah. And right. we have to make sure she survives. Because there's so many uh harmful guards. Okay. Uh Okay, I'm she's coming. Way. Yes, probably we will make you we will take you safely you. to our safe house. Just be very secure, because there's so many guards that are going to destroy you if you don't. I hear ya. Okay, she's 
right there, but there's a guard over there. We just have to shoot. He's still alive. Okay, he isn't. That's good. Moving to your position. What's with all these bird sounds? You're not a bird, Bentley. You're a turtle. Okay. Unfortunately, you're still not a ninja. Here I come. Yes, she's sure. coming. Another guard. Okay, so we just have to. Oh, okay. You still hear us. Come on, he's still he's still up. Yes, okay. Okay, coming. She's coming. Here I come. I was about to shoot her. That was close. Okay, going going up there. You're almost there, buddy. Okay. Okay, just a little further, and she's safe. Moving to your position. Penelope! Bentley? Thank you. I was really scared there for a bit. You saved my life. There now. Let's get you inside and make sure that dust has no permanent effects. Well, that was very, very sweet of you. Just furthering off a girl to your position. That is how you get her. But anyways, let's do the mer mission and destroy some boats. Just to make sure they don't tail us while we're stealing their boat. What's the mission called here? Jolly Boat of Destruction. Now that is a name that is suitable for Murray, the brawn. Okay, we just have to go over there. Uh, Okay, forget about it. Come on. I have the fits, and you don't have the beat. <laughs> okay, what am I saying here? Anyway, let's do the mission, run away. I don't think it's very hard, but it's very quick. Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. When their boats disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking! Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get the rigged before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there'll be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. Okay, boys. Okay, this one is pretty easy to handle. You just have to hold the R1 button and try to aim the cannon right at that uh, finny thing. Yes, just like that. I didn't know uh, the first time I had to hold the R1 button to actually target. It. So this mission was never really a big problem for me. You're just gonna ignore all these cannons. Just gonna destroy it. I mean, they don't even fire me while I do that. Okay, the last one. Where is the last one? There it is. Okay, let's do this. And we did it. You guys are doing great, but it's time to bump it up a notch. The harbor patrol has arrived. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ram them with your jolly boat to knock off the armor. All right! I'm tired of dodging cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls, jolly boat style. Once Murray has knocked off the armor, you'll need to sink him with a well-placed cannonball. Run in fear, Harbor Patrol sissy! Okay, just gonna ignore those I'm cannons. We have to destroy me. these boats. Yeah. So yeah, the first thing is you have to ram on it, like charging it right now, and then you use these cannons. Off you go, pirate. 
Yeah, so it's gonna charge it right away. Just continue pressing those X buttons. Uh, my momentum is suddenly gone. Yes, okay, just three more to go. Oh, okay, just gonna hit it again. Okay. Two more to go, and we're done. One more to go, and mission complete. He's or is it? All right! The team of excellence, Murray and his faithful gunner Sly, kick butt yet again! <laughs> uh, sorry guys. I wasn't aware the Harbor Patrol had a cutter. You're not done yet. Gads, that thing is massive! Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right! That mast will fall before our combined mightitude. No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge. That works too. <laughs> Alright. Destroy the support beams for the boat's mast. Sounds easy enough. Okay, just gonna keep charging it. Why do I have to just uh, dodge these? Oh no, we sank. Well, that's because I didn't have much health. But that's fine enough because we survived and faced the final boss of this game. We just have to be very close to the, to the boat and then they can't hurt us. And then we can just hold the R1 button and just aim to the mast. I'm trying to target. Stop moving. Just gonna... Yes, just like that. And it's going to get destroyed. Come on. Just one more to go. This boat is on fire today. Yes! Yeah! Okay, you're downtown. Nice shooting sidekick. Hey, we would have been sunk without your rowing. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. Hey, that's no problem for the Murray. You're going to need silent obliteration to complete an upcoming mission. 400 coins? Wait, how many do I have now? Oh, that's just enough. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. This silent obliteration, or what's it called again? That's what I needed to just uh, silently attack all the enemies. Alright, there it is. Silent Obliteration. So after that, you can go to this mission. And this mission is where we have to find the... Okay, the treasure from Dimitri's um, grandfather or father. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Sly. Time for the main event. I've been looking forward to this. Every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship. I don't know what it is, but it's like a total rite of passage. This is gonna be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat. But remember, keep it quiet. Okay. Okay, I'll be quiet. Let's do it. So yeah, you just have to silently attack all these night guards, ironically, and then you can just steal that boat. If only, if only uh, the whole team could just run on that jolly. Looks like they mind the But that would have been very soldier. silly. Must have really spooked these guys. I mean, Take those were very out. easy to dodge. Quiet. Okay, I'll do it. Take this sneak attack, it's super effective. <laughs> but yeah, pretty easy. But this mission took me a long time to beat because there's a final section of this mission that I just couldn't figure out, but now I'm finally dead. And you'll see what it is soon. Okay guys, the coast is clear. Come on up. Roger! I'll start rowing people over! Okay, the rest of the gang is below deck. 
Let's fire this puppy up. Once we raise the sails and get underway, it won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem. We wasted that harbor patrol. The coast is clear. You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. Okay, slide. You're in command. Yeah, sailing so this easy. sailing, Hold this is a new gameplay the they have introduced. They have right now introduced so right. many gameplay elements in this game. So yeah, the sailing is not too bad, but it's just not one of my favorites in a way. I mean, it was kind of boring, and if, and after I played Kingdom Hearts 3 with also the sailing gameplay, We're this one is very range. simple. So yeah, we just have to sail out it, on an adventure. We've made it into open water. Yeah, on a very great adventure. Are you all ready for action? But yeah, this this is us, and this is the map. Okay, watch the map. I just have to press the R3 button every time just to make sure that I'm that I'm right at my destination. And I just kind of wish they could make a map so that we can see it while we're sailing because then it won't take uh, as long. But right now it looks kind of okay. This is kind of weird how they just look like they're about to fall anytime soon. But yeah, here's the island. Uh, where's the island? Okay, we're almost there. But before that, we have to destroy a ship. And by doing that, it's just pressing the circle button, and then we destroy it. Okay, just gonna continue on pressing those circle buttons. Like, maybe the race is not really my favorite, it's just because you have to align these cannons, and they can take a long time to just recharge. In Kingdom Hearts 3, you, uh, you can just fire them anytime soon, with some special attacks. But yeah, after destroying it, you can actually just uh, ride on it and steal the your enemy's uh, treasure. Oof! Okay, it took a lot of damage, but that's fine. Okay, let's do it! I also like the fact that you can just fix your ship by by te uh, by taking the damage to the side. You know, video game stuff. How do you fix stuff? By attacking it. So you just have to attack the cannon. Uh, I mean, uh, the captain. And who's the cannon? You know, it's the guy that has that uh, pirate head and is obviously bigger than the others. He got attacked by his own men. That's is so dumb. Yes, he did. He did it again. He attacked his own men and then he died. <laughs> wow. Way to go, dude! I'm so proud of you. But let's go to a destination. You've got the map, Sly. Select it as a power-up and read its clues to find the treasure. I believe the first clue is... Stand before the statue's gaze to begin your walk along the treasure's maze. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't use any waypoints. You actually have to rely on the, the treasure map, which you have right there. And it's going to be used as, a, a, as an achievement mission throughout the, this entire game, you know. Right there where you choose challenge, and then you can just choose it on all of the episodes that you've been through. It's pretty fun, but the first time I tried to think about it, or trying to think about um, how to use the, the treasure map, I don't know how to actually begin it. So I've been stuck on episode 5 for a long time, until I finally figured out how to do things. You actually have to press the... Okay, yeah, the L1 button, right here, and then the X mark is coming. Oh, uh... We're just gonna keep attacking him, and we're set to go. 
Oh man, I hate when they're coming. Okay. So we're just gonna go up there again and just do the treasure. And find the treasure. So we just have to go over here. Take your 12th pace in the direction of the statue's gaze. Fly, when you've got the right number of paces, stop great. If yes. You need to leave so after that, press the circle button and another X is coming. X ground, always marks the spot shipmate. Find the X and take your sixth pace towards it. Oh, okay, I know what they're talking about. While in map yes. Mode, that's because that palm tree is actually marked as an X. Do you see that? Move your 18 pace into the circle of palm trees. That's the one over there. So let's go. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 20. Oh! Oh, come on. I hate those gators. Why are they interfering? Okay, he's gone. Okay, I have to move quickly with a change of pace. Why are you even here in this level? <sighs> okay, I did it. Take 16 pace to pass between the two great stones, like you see here. Like a ship at sail, avoid the rock. Okay, avoid the rocks. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, Oh no. Okay, they didn't notice me. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15. Looks like yes. you'll need to leave map mode to solve this clue. Look around like normal with the right analog stick for this island with Yes, look at that SOS. Trees. That's the first clue. I actually know that the treasure is there. Look out to the sea and spot a rock with palm three palm trees. Make 13 pace in the directions to get your feet sandy. Uh. Yes, there. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes. Not all ships meet the happy end, but follow where they where the point is. Okay, not all ships meet the happy end, but follow where they where the point is. What you must do. Six pace. Oh, okay, it's not here. You know, you don't have to do this six times. I already get the picture. Okay, there. Okay, I found it. Grand Papa's treasure! Hold the beat, bro! I come to help you dig! Dig? We're all coming, Sly! This is too cool! Well, Dimitri, it's your loot. I think you should have the honor. <laughs> I open with joy. You Cooper gang is a tight groove. Then go bullseye! Primo diving gear to accentuate my deep down diving style. It's so intricate. Your grandfather was an artist. I've never seen such fine craftsmanship. He had the juice. Check it. The gear even matches my suit. I can dance, dive, and accessorize. What else is in this chest? I. Let's get a good look. <laughs> Avast, lover. Didn't think you could steal from the smartest man of the Seven Seas and not taste the repercussions. Ha ha ha! I might have been late for the opening of the chest, but I'm just on time for the stealing of the gold. Let Penelope go. We can work out a deal. Penelope be the lass's name. Purty as a sonnet, and what a rich sweet scent from the wench's hair. <laughs> Let's thump this chump! No, he'll hurt her! This guy's a killer! Hey! You sum me up with butter word! Killer! Away with ye! Back to your ship! This gold is mine now! Her death is yours! 
Take your choice. Guys, we don't have any options here. Everyone back to the ship. You can't just abandon me. Help! Please! I'm so scared. Penelope, do what he says. Stay alive. We will save you. I... I trust you. And I trust you're still planning logging back to your ship. Away with ye. Now! Well, rip. Clearly, the only goal at this point is saving our teammate and friend, Penelope. Left we ship, the Death's Head, has sailed back to Bloodbath Bay with her on board as captain. Things look grim. There's no way we'll be able to sneak into the harbor. Even the backside of the island is inaccessible due to reefs. To put it plainly, we're in for a fight. Left we is an intelligent opponent, and we'll need to do everything in our power to stack the odds in our favor. First, we'll put Dimitri's new diving gear to use by salvaging some weapons from a nearby shipwreck. We'll need the extra firepower to deal any kind of damage to the armor and forced death's head. It'll also come in handy for our second objective, destroying the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. They're a fleet of mercenaries on Lapui's books. We need to surprise them now while they hunt for us in small groups. If they ever attack in unison, there's no way we'd make it out alive. And finally, we'll set sail for the misty waters inhabited by a sea monster the pirates called Crusher. Reports on Crusher are sketchy, but we might learn something by analyzing its technique. I know for a fact that all of Lefui's men fear it. An impressive and useful trait, given our current situation. Okay, the second section of this uh, episode may feel kind of a drag. But I'm gonna do this later and tell you why. Because this is a whole new safe house we have right now. And a ship. So see you guys later at Slime Free Other Among Feast. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I can do more. If you so wish. Aye, aye, and goodbye for now.